this is an election watch party for Sue Lovell's campaign, but also for some other candidates uh, for Houston City Council. I can tell you, as I uh, talked about earlier, that uh, Sue Lovell, we may not see her again tonight. And in fact, she just texted me just a few minutes ago saying that will be the case. It looks like she's not going to make it into the runout, runoff, so she plans to just stay home tonight with her family and enjoy some quiet time. We talked to her earlier today. She said that she is proud of her service uh, that she has given to the city of Houston. She's been in politics for about 40 years. She spent three terms on Houston City Council in at-large position. She was a founding member of the Houston GLBT Political Caucus. Uh, she told me she was very strategic in her campaigning. However, she did not raise a lot of money, uh, and the polls were never favorable towards her. Again, I, I asked her, well, what will she take away from this campaign if it doesn't work out for her? And this is what she had to say. And, you know, here's the thing. If you don't like how something is, my style is not to stand on the sideline and take pot shots. Is if I don't like it, I stand up and I speak about it. And, um, and, and that's what I did. And I don't like the style of leadership or the leadership. So you stand up and you, uh, you present your ideas and then people will select. So she threw her hat into the race because she said that she talked to her granddaughter, her five-year-old granddaughter, often about this, and said that she still wanted to contribute. She said her agenda a lot was about Houston's infrastructure, the roads, of course, a flood mitigation. Uh, she wanted to still be active in her community. But in the end, she says she will go away from this, saying that she was happy for this opportunity, but she is looking forward to some relaxation time, spending time with her family. We're live in Westview. Jessica Willie, ABC 13. Eyewitness News.